Matit Yahu, Matthew 3. In those days came Yahu Hanan, the immerser, preaching in the wilderness of Yahud, and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of Yahuwah is at hand. For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Yeshayahu, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of Yahuwah, make his paths straight. And the same Yahuchanan had his raiment of camel's hair and a leathern belt about his loins, and his food was locusts and wild honey. Then went out to him Yarushalayim and all Yahud and all the region round about the Yardan and were immersed of him in the Yardan confessing their sins. But when he saw many of the Parashim and Sadokim come to his immersion, he said unto them, O generation of vipers, who has warned you to flee from the wrath to come. Bring forth, therefore, fruits, meat for repentance. And think not to say within yourselves, We have Avraham to our father. For I say unto you, that Yah is able of these stones to raise up children unto, Yah, rather, unto Avraham. And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Therefore every tree which brings not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. I indeed immerse you with water unto repentance, but he that comes after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall immerse you with the Ruach, HaKadesh, and with fire, whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the garner, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. Then came Yahusha from Galil to the Yardan unto Yahu Hanan to be immersed of him, but Yahuchanan forbade him, saying, I have need to be immersed of you, and come you to me? And Yahusha answering said unto him, Suffer it to be so now, for thus it becomes us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he suffered him. And Yahusha, when he saw, rather, when he was immersed, went up straightway out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened unto him. And he saw at the Ruach Yahuwah descending like a dove and lighting upon him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my Yahid, in whom I am well pleased.